Hi, this is Nathan, your neighbor at Arcade and Pinball Talk Guy, and today we're going to be reviewing Stranger Things uh, by Stern Pinball. Uh, we're on location at Rec Bar 812 in southern Indiana. Please look for a written review underneath the description of our YouTube video. There you'll find all of our written metrics, and let's go ahead and get this review underway, shall we? First things first, uh, soundtrack of uh, Stranger Things is on here. Sounds really good. It's exactly what you would expect from a Stranger uh, Things pinball machine. Uh, flipper cap's not too bad. Of course, traditional setup. You got in lane left, right, out lane left, right. Uh, beyond that, as you can see from the front of the play field, two time multiplier, you got your modes there, which is uh, send it back, five way combo, telekinesis, multi ball, light the fire, turn up the heat, et cetera, et cetera. And of course you got junkyard, it's a trap. And so you're moving up the character development there. Uh, Playfield's actually pretty stacked to the middle. Almost reminds me of Attack from Mars a little bit. You got the UFO on Attack from Mars. You got the Demogorgon in the middle of this one with obviously the ramp. Um, to the left side of the, the play field, you actually have a ramp right there that goes around, exits your left end lane. You also have a mini orbit right there. You have shots to the middle, which allow the trap to come down, which is the launch for the Demogorgons. And uh, I will say this is kind of a quick play, but very stacked in the middle. So there's a lot of blocks on this game, although the lanes aren't too bad. It is very heavily blocked to the center. So of course it's in your face, a little bit more like Black Knight, but it also has a lot of speed uh, to it as well, as you just saw coming off that plunger. You have a kick out to the far left, uh, which is two times scoring. And of course, any ball coming off of that little area right there comes right down the middle. Uh, you have a spinner, uh, which obviously it's uh, a spinner going up the lane to the back, comes out, exits to your right side of the table, ramp to the right of that, actually comes around and exits to the left end lane. So not too bad, pop bumpers to the back. Very easy kind of setup to this game. And I know why they did that due to the flow. Uh, as far as the theme, I like Stranger Things. Uh, it's an actually really good show. They've done a good job. As far as the, uh, the art on this machine, I think that it, it could have been a little better, but I think that it's really good for what it is, actually. Uh, as you're noticing right now, we're entering the Demogorgon right now to try to shoot through the center. And uh, the visuals of, of, the visuals of actually the LCD that's up there are actually pretty good. And as you know, it's a lot of people talk about the Demogorgon being hard to hit. Uh, it is, you get the ball right in there. It looks like it's going in like that and it doesn't accept it. The sound bites are actually there too. Uh, there could have been a lot more call outs, but the sound bites are definitely there. It's a darker machine. As you notice, we just locked in the back, kicking out. Fun factor. You know what? I'm actually gonna say it. I mean, I've heard a lot of flack on this game, but you know, I've played this game four times now, gotten a taste of it. It seems that the code has been developed, obviously, since the, the very original reviews were put out of this game. And I will say with the code right now, it seems to be playing pretty good and as you notice it's, it's flat it's fast it's flowing pretty good the only downside of it is obviously the demogorgon shot which everyone has actually complained about and that is a very valid point very hard to get it in that demogorgon's mouth but so far i mean the soundtrack is ominous call outs are there theme is actually really good for what it is i mean it's a hit show and uh, it's actually made into a really good pinball machine believe it or not replayability is there fun factor actually is there too this is you know it's actually kind of blowing my mind right now after all the things that i've seen i'm playing it and uh i will say it's, it's kind of got something to it
Oh, of course. Lay it up to this game at this point. I, I'm really thinking after all the games, uh, it's really not that bad. A lot of people gave it a lot of flack. It's actually not that bad. There's some things that I could really improve on, like the Demogorgon shot, you know, the visuals on the actual play field and stuff like that. But, you know, if they fix that, this game would be actually really up there. I would probably score this game at this moment. Knowing the issues and if they just fix them, how good it could be, I'd probably score this game right around an 8.9. And that's where I'm going to stick with it. 8.9 out of 10. Absolutely worth it. Fun play. Definitely check it out at Rec Bar 812. It is really fun. And you will not, you know, be disappointed is the best way to put it. Please look for our written review underneath the description of our YouTube video. And uh, until next time, this is your Arcade and Pinball Talk Guy, Nathan. Signing out. Thank you again for watching today.